So Heroku is ending its free plan and a lot of people on various social media platforms are talking about it. Heroku announced this a few days ago on their help page and informed all the users that their free projects will become inactive starting November 28th and nobody will ever be able to make free projects on Heroku. They even said that you can, cannot demo Heroku anymore, all you can do to demo is buy a plan. So in this video I'll tell you some other free hosting platforms that you can use for your next project. Bro I really feel sad for those people who will still follow tutorials that use Heroku. Ok so the first one on the list is Vercel. You must have already used it before. Vercel provides a lot of options when it comes to hosting. You can host Next.js website, Node.js backend and a lot more. Also if you are an open source project you can apply for sponsorship from Vercel so that you can handle a bit more amount of traffic. Second one on the list is Railway. You can use Railway to deploy a lot of different kinds of backend or even Next.js applications if you want to. Railway provides you with a lot of framework presets right from Node.js to Rust backend or even Laravel if that's something you use. A lot of people have been adopting Railway nowadays and it has been getting quite some praise from some time. The third one is Netlify. Ok so this is an old one but you know you can still deploy your web apps there. Netlify even supports Next.js so if you are dealing with Next.js and don't want to use Vercel for any reason you have Netlify as an option. Netlify is also a quick drag and drop solution for your static web apps. You can just drag your folder and drop into Netlify and it will deploy the website for you within a minute. Fourth one is AWS. Now a lot of people are gonna hate me for this but you can consider AWS as an option even if it's difficult to use. If you are dealing with a large scale project or just want full flexibility when it comes to customization, I think AWS should be a good option for you. Although this one isn't exactly free, you need to add your credit card to AWS to get some usage free. The fifth one is DigitalOcean. You can deploy basically anything on DigitalOcean, but you need to set up the server manually if there aren't any good presets already made. Just like AWS, you might get some quota free for adding your card details. The sixth one is Google Cloud. This is just another option if you think you need a lot of flexibility when it comes to customization. But I think beginners should stay away from these advanced hosting platforms and stick towards easier ones like ones we talked earlier in the video. Let me tell you something, all of the mentioned hosting platforms have a paid plan. That means each free plan have their own limits. You must see their limits and decide which one suits best to you according to your use case. Most of the time for small projects you are okay with free plan. But if, if you plan on scaling your project you might need to move up to a paid plan if you want to cope up with the additional traffic. Now of course Heroku is not going anywhere. If you feel that Heroku is the perfect platform for you, you can just purchase one of its plan and use it just as you do now. But I don't think that would be ideal for most of the students. I hope this video provided value to you. Make sure you like the video if so and subscribe to the channel to show some support and helping me towards my goal of 1000 subscribers in the next month. That's all for this video, I'll see you all in the next one, bye.